well, let's see what happens here. Live stream offline. Let's see if we can make this work. Well, what do you know about that? I think it's going to go. That's cool. Hey, guys. Quick live stream. Not sure who's going to show up or how things are going to work out tonight, but I have to do a little bit of B-roll shots, and I thought, I only have a few minutes to mess around on the bench here. I thought, what the heck? Might as well bring you guys along. Get some stuff done. Maybe. Maybe test out one new piece of gear. We'll see how that goes. And what the hey, give you guys a sneak peek. This is a, a product that arrived recently, and you're going to see a full review on this coming up. But right now, I'm just going to do kind of the unboxing, unboxing B-roll here, hopefully. I got the DSLR set up just off cam here. I figured, what the hell, I'll chat it up. Hey, Aslam, how are you doing? And let's see. I won't need any audio, so I can yak to you guys through this while I do the unboxing of this. And I don't, I don't like making an unboxing video, a whole standalone video anymore. So I just do it this way with doing the B-roll, and then I'll incorporate it into the video that you will see in probably about three weeks. With any luck, this was sent to me free of charge from Blitzville. Cheers, Mitch. Haha, <laughs> you made one. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. How's things? And how do we get into this package? So I have the DSLR recording. Yes, I do. I'm not capturing audio on it because we don't need it. And this is the 20 watt solar charger from Blitzwolf. And I'm going to give this a try on my upcoming vacation. And these are monocrystalline cells, uh, three of them in this particular unit. And this is not going to do it justice on the DSLR off camera. Comes with a USB hub built in. And I think that's about the extent of the B roll that we're going to need. Man, that's just, that is a well-built unit. I like that. That is pretty cool. I think I'm going to like this. I uh, love your videos. Cheers, man. Thanks. I'm glad you like them. I like making them from time to time. They are a pile of work, I'll be honest. There we go. All right, there. Now I can shut the DSLR off. Let's take the memory card out. So I remember to take it back upstairs and move it to my editing PC. And then I'll file it away in a folder all its own for B-roll for this product. And I have a really cool plan when I take this up north on vacation with me. Hopefully it works out that I can give this thing a go. I actually like this a lot. This is a pretty cool little solar charger. And if we can get 20 watt out of it, man, that's that's actually uh, that's pretty damn good. I think that's going to work out pretty well. We'll see. Uh, things are good. Just making some Google Pie videos. Very cool. I haven't had a chance to watch your videos yet. I saw you were doing a series on them, but I've just been too busy to catch up on anything. And truthfully, I've been taking a little bit of a break from the electronics side the last few weeks to focus on more of the outdoor side while I still have the nice weather. Well, you guys saw this, but I got this in a... Actually, no, you haven't seen this because the mailbag isn't live yet. In a few days, you'll see this. Um, little butane soldering iron. I've had them before, but I've never had that particular one. Where's the cool thing I wanted to play with tonight? Oh, here it is. It's hidden. Um, David asks, what do you plan to charge? I'm going to just charge uh, the wife's phone and my phone while we're up north on that, to be honest. And uh, actually, what I'll be also charging is the uh, my USB... Uh, there's 18650 battery banks. I have a couple of them. And because I'm going to be videoing on my new Hero, uh, Hero 5 uh, session, uh, it 
doesn't have exchangeable batteries. So you have to charge the battery that's in it. So I'll charge those USB battery packs with this. More than likely, I'll probably use the vehicle more than anything, but this is, I'm going to give it a try. Blitzwolf, I've seen these online before and they have a ridiculously good name. The, and I can tell you by the quality of this, this is way sneak peek, but I can tell you just by the quality of the stitching and they didn't use that cheap garbage velcro i can t i can tell right away that odds are this is what i think it is and is a high quality unit i did my research before i accepted it uh, they're not a lot of money they're uh, 150 bucks canadian for that so if it works as they say it does then it's going to be a great little unit be awesome uh, mitch loved the outing bid cheers buddy i'm glad you did it was a lot of fun i have a pile more stuff coming up for outing bids uh, tons of them, in fact. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, crazy boy is here. Cheers. What is the silver tool in front of the screwdrivers? The X-Acto knife? It's just standard X-Acto knife. That's the one you're talking about? And these are my hex drivers for my quad copiers. That's the one you're referring to. I got, <laughs> I had to try it guys, I just had to. This is a USB powered soldering iron and I got this just eBay China, it's slow boat, it's been like a month and a half coming. I didn't include this in a mailbag or anything lately, uh, or yet I should say, but uh, I just gotta try it. Let's try it. I, I'm so curious of whether this will get hot enough to actually melt solder as well as melt solder on a board. If it does, I'll just about fall off my chair. Uh, I'll be super surprised if it does. Um, this is just a garbage uh, USB power bank. Let's use it because I stuck a output indicator. Oh yeah, this one you got to turn on, don't you? It's on. This is a really crappy power bank. I really hate this thing. 4 volt. 1.2 amps. That's drawn. It's drawn 1.2 amps. It might actually do something. Holy crap, it got hot. I can actually see smoke coming off that. Uh, I am going to just about fall off my chair if this works. Yeah, no, that's what I thought. So these, I remember there was something to do with this button. You had to be touching it to get it to go full. Holy crap, it did, it did melt solder. <laughs> it actually did. It's not melting it well, but it did melt it. Let's leave my finger on there for a minute and just see if that's what it takes to fire it up. Uh, hi from England. Cheers to England. Uh, crappy power bank, crappy soldering iron. Awesome. Absolutely. This I love trying things that you you would swear are never going to work. And and honestly, I would never buy this unless it was the well, it melts this really fine gauge solder just fine. But of course, anything would. A match will melt that. I can tell you by the smell of the solder that it did get it significantly warm. Let's try this stuff. Holy smokes. Now, would I be able to use that out in the field? Let's see. Let's see. Do I have a board around? Of course, the one time I need a soldering iron or uh, something to solder, I don't have anything. Hmm. Well, I could try just soldering some wires. Let's try that. Jep. Cheers, Jep. Pay to Denmark. One second here, guys.
All right, there we go. We're back. Uh, I suppose in case something screwed up in the field. Yeah, absolutely. That's kind of the idea that I was shooting for. I have no idea what this cable is from. But let's just see. Could we? Could we even tin wires in the field with this thing? It's funny, it got hot. Now it appears to have settled in. Is it still hot? Nope, it settled right down. So is the button thingy the key? Make sure my head's not in the way. This thing isn't an actual button. It's, it's funny, it's just a metal nub. Oh, sure enough, it does trigger. Sure enough, it must just pick up the capacitance in my body. All right, well, can I solder a wire? What do you guys think? I say you vote in the chat right now. Will this actually solder two wires? Let's see if we can just solder. These are these are pretty small stuff. Let's try just soldering these just with a standard butt joint that we'd want to, like a fuel expedient repair. Let's say we're screwed, we're out in the middle of nowhere, and we just need to get these two wires joined now truthfully you could just twist them together but whatever will could we actually do a marginally better joint in the field i have no idea but if this thing works i'll be exceedingly impressed <laughs> yeah, price costs like two three bucks it's a capacitive button yeah that's what i figured yeah several of those they work very well well I'm going to be quite surprised if I can run this off a of USB, like this is the cheapest junk USB battery bank thing I've had forever. And I, yeah, it's from 50% charge now that I've taken the surface charge off. But if something like that, now I don't know if you guys saw it, but I did do a video on using a lighter and a piece of metal, a paper clip to do field expedient soldering. And uh, that's what I've used. Actually, I had to solder up some fuel pump wires on a Chevy Cavalier in the middle of the bush one time. And sure enough, it worked just fine for that. But this would be a hell of a lot nicer. Now, I can tell you, this is not hot. But, but, I'm going to show you something here in a minute. <laughs> but, that... I've actually seen far worse than that in the field. Let's go. That is what I got. And that is actually clean and hot. It, it's not half bad. I, I, I'm actually stunned that, that that worked as well as it did. Uh, if you hold the button, it stays on. Cool. I mean, let's just let's just let's see. Get this solder two two together. <laughs> if we could do like. A half s standard splice now we know we can tin the wires now can we splice them is the next question uh this third hand's done this thing has been around for too many years <laughs> thanks for the tip jeff appreciate that thanks very much where is my text Eric, first time able to catch you live. Cheers, Jeff. Thank you very much. I appreciate that very much. The tips help a lot. They help me to pay for the editing software. My Patreon supporters thankfully pay for my editing software to do my weekly videos for you guys. And every every bit of money that comes into the channel helps. It helps a whole lot. Uh, I, feel, I think I'm the only one who's watching from Syria. Cheers to Syria. That's a best of luck, is all I can say. Uh, Syria holds a pretty near and dear place in us Canadians' hearts. We're, uh, we're pulling for you. That's all I'll say. All right, let's try it. Let's tin this thing. 
Will it join these two? Holy crap. That actually, that actually worked just fine. That actually worked absolutely just fine. Yeah, this is not the camera to show that on. Let's switch to the other one real quick. Proof is in the pudding. I'll change the title to this thing after, and it'll be USB or USB solder iron testing. Look at that. Now, see how shiny that is? Nice, good margins on the wire. Like, admittedly, it's not perfect. It is, like, but that's as close to perfect as we need for joining these. I would have no problem putting that wire into service for the life of a component <clears throat> with some heat sink on it. <laughs> this thing actually works just fine. Running off a power bank, drawing, that is, what are we drawing? 1. <clears throat> 1.15 amps thereabouts. Let's see if we can get that on screen for you guys. Yeah, one and a half amps. So, of course, it's going to draw the crap out of one of these batteries. Like, this, this is a pretty heavy draw for a really cheap one like that. But for something like any decent uh, any decent buck converter on a LiPo or some 18650s, and you're all set. You're way to the races. <laughs> I am totally shocked at that. It's just got a, like a headphone-style connector, which I'm pretty sure 1.5 amps is... Uh, probably pushing the design specs on that but you guys can correct me if i'm wrong um, <laughs> it works it's got a super fine tip too that's uh that actually would work pretty good for just touching up a trace on a surface mount board and i can tell you this this capacitive touch is is working really good because i just accidentally had my finger on there and it fired up but it won't melt this heavy solder. Let's give this a second to warm up and uh, we'll give it a chance. Uh, did it wick up on the wire? Yeah, it did. When I tinned them, uh, it had no problem, Mitch. It, it tinned no problem. It actually worked really well. Um, next, we try a NASA joint. Yeah, a NASA joint, uh, I can tell you, is not going to work with this. Um, well, actually, I shouldn't say that. With this this size wire it probably would be just fine actually <laughs> that is having no problem melting now this is my uh 1.6 millimeter so my my thick solder and it's having no problem just gliding through that that's crazy i cannot believe that i would not have believed it unless i did it right live here for you guys well there you have it sure enough this thing is perfectly capable of doing field expedient repairs with a standard USB power supply. Uh, anything that can provide one and a half amps. Now it might actually be able to do more. This one might be limited to one and a half amp. Uh, if you, you might be able to do significantly more if you just hooked it up direct to your own system that isn't current limited. Um, your way to the races. Eh, what do you know? I wouldn't have expected that. I, I really, I honestly wouldn't believe that. So, <laughs> something fun every night. What do you know, guys? Um, Sam is such a pretty cool YouTuber. You're my eight-year-old son's favorite guy on the tube. You would rather watch you than me. <laughs> Cheers. Say hi to him for me, Samuel. I hope I've been a positive influence in some way on someone. That's all I strive for. Uh, just a, another fellow who likes to play on the YouTubes. All right, guys. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any butane in here. It's out in my shed to fill this one up. But uh, this one is just a matter of quality uh, of the actual unit, whether it leaks gas or anything. But these butane gas soldering irons, uh, these are fantastic. These are these are what I've used in the field for a long, long time. Other than my paper clip and lighter method. Uh, this is just a, a super pleasant surprise. The USB one, but these are super reliable. Uh, better to get the one that has uh, a tip that you can remove and use it as a torch as well. It's super handy for uh, shrinking heat shrink as well. This one uh, I don't think is removable in that way. This, again, this is dirt cheap. You'll see it on a mailbag coming up. I'll do a little mailbag and some coverage on it. And shoot you guys some links. Um, let's see. I suspect the timer is there to avoid destroying the element. You hold it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree fully. If this thing, if you left this 
uh, hot all the time, this this tip would would degrade rapidly. Um, most tips do, uh, even these cheap junk Chinese ones. These these plastic body, um, you know, these just they're just cheap Chinese junk. These tips they they degrade really insanely rapidly as opposed to this unger that I have had this since my teenage years and I'm 38 this year uh, I had this I've used it routinely since I was 18 years old and this is still the same tip um, the cheap junk nowadays just just degrades it just melts and so does my expensive really ridiculous snap-on pistol grip uh, one for soldering aught gauge wire, like stuff way thicker than my thumb. Um, it, it actually will burn through the tip really rapidly just because of the heat. Um... <laughs> Cheers, Samuel. Awesome stuff. Ah, cool stuff, guys. Um, how much was that? The USB one. I'm going to have to look that up, Emily. I think it was... I want to say it was under five bucks Canadian. It was definitely under ten dollars Canadian. Um, that's why I, yeah, I didn't hold out much hope. It's it, it it weighs nothing. It is ultra cheap, but sure enough, like that, uh, I I can't believe that. Let's see how fast will it get hot enough to melt my thick solder. What did I do with that? Did I lose that already? Where's my thick stuff? How fast can we go from cold? to able to melt my 1.6 mil was this 1.6 mil all right finger on and let's just leave the solder against it and let's go oh yeah there we go we're already there so just a couple seconds and sure enough no problem going through there that earlier little hiccup when i first fired it up must have been just like getting the coatings off of it or just getting it set up but like it's not crazy but it's working <laughs> That's craziness. I, I love it. That's cool. All right, guys. I don't. I, I got to get back to work here and get some stuff done for tonight. I just wanted to hang out with you guys for a few minutes. And thanks for the tip tonight. Appreciate the uh, appreciate the couple bucks from Jeff. Thank you. It really helps. Every bit helps the channel. And you guys, check out the uh, link below to Patreon if you want to support me there. And every bit goes back into the channel. And I buy more stuff like this so I can use in projects or pay for my editing software subscription every month and, uh over the next couple weeks i'm going to be taking you guys along on my family and my vacation up north i'm uh, going to do a couple of videos there some tech out in the wilderness and as well i have some quad videos already on the chopping block uh my quad dry out video um how to build some survival stoves little tech stoves that i've been doing for years that video is already done and it you know, in the editing process lots of stuff coming for you guys so Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for everything. Really, uh, really appreciate all the support. Love hanging out with you guys. Have a great night. Cheers, guys.